Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. Today we're going to attempt to, to um, have a successful uh, CNC with the Aura Mask. Now I haven't been it's been, I haven't been very successful with the aura mask, but I'm going to attempt to to take my time and see if I can perfect the aura mask. Now the one thing I'm doing is I'm going to make sure and clean this surface off really good. I'm going to put um, two two coats of this red uh, paint on, and this is a water-based paint. And basically, what I'm going to do. My idea is to let this let this these two coats cure. I'll let the first cur coat cure overnight. I'll put another coat, let it cure, and then I'll um, and then I'll apply the aura mask. After two days of letting this cure, I, this is aura mask 813, and I basically cut it to size, and I then roll. I I spend a little time and really roll out all the air bubbles. Okay, the first thing I do after I get my measurements input in here is I double check my job setup. So I'm doing single sided. The width is 25 inches. Now, the reason I have the width a little wider than I need for this sign is I'm just going to use my Rockler clamps and clamp one on each corner and I won't have to worry about the, the bits hitting it. So I'm 25 wide, 16 high, and it's three quarter inch. And this is this material is MDF. So it should cut real easy. I'm going to do from the materials surface, uh, the left hand corner, and standard resolution. These are simple cuts, so I don't need to do anything. Um, I can do it uh, the fastest possible. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. We're going to go. So we already input this drawing. Um, it's just a simple little drawing. And basically what I'm doing is I'm testing out my ability to use the aura mask. So I I picked this sign because it has it has letters and then it also has this big area that's cut out right here. And also we're going to cut around the outside. And I'm hoping that the way that I do the aura mask, um, I'm hoping to have better success today. So we're going to go over here. So we already imported this. We sized it. We um, and then over here we already created all our tool paths. I've got the V-carve toolpath, which is, um, I'll show you that one. The V-carve is going to cut out all the letters and also, um, so you can see right there, actually that's all of them. Let's reset the preview and preview visible. So here's the V-carve and this is with the 1502 90 degree V-bit. You can see it, it does a pretty good job of the detail of this thing. And the next tool path will be the fluting tool path. And I'm, I'm actually going to use the V-bit for this. I decided normally when I do a fluting tool path, I'll use my bowl bit. But I thought I just want a little, a little fine line. So the fluting tool path, let's go ahead and look at that. And you can see that's a little, just a little detail. Uh, line that'll be painted the same color as the letters. Let's preview that. Then the next one will be a profile toolpath which will cut out this whole sign. And that will be the profile toolpath right there. You can see and it goes around the outside and basically, oops, I read preview all. So there, there it is right there. And I don't cut all the way through because obviously I don't want to mess up my spoil board. So actually I've already messed up my spoil board, but I'm trying not to damage it anymore. I'll probably have to redo it before winter, but yeah, there's the sign right there. And today we'll test out if, um, if we're going to be more successful with the aura mask. Okay. I'll see you over at the machine. The first thing I do is get the, get the board mounted using my T-Track clamps. And I'm using Rockler t flat T-Track clamps and I'm clamping all four corners to this. 
and I'll show you a picture of the clamps I'm using right here. Once I get it clamped down like I want, I then home the machine. I'm using an Avid CNC machine, and this is a 4x8 machine. The first thing I do after I get it homed is I, I always start out with a straight cut bit. I always XYZ with a straight cut bit because if you straight if you XYZ with a V carve bit, it doesn't you end up not straight on your project. I'm right here, I'm using an RU2075 by Whiteside, and I'll show you a picture of it right here. After I get it XYZ'd, it makes two passes a quarter inch deep each time. The next thing I do is I I change the bit and I'm changing to a V carve bit also by Whiteside. This is a 1502 uh, V carve bit and I will show you a picture of that right here too. I then Z out the V carve bit. I don't I don't XY. I just do the Z and that that keeps me in the center of the project. I then uh, after I Z out, I run the program. Okay, it appears like it appears like this the the ore mass did a little better this time. Um, there's a few little pieces here and there. So my idea, what I'm gonna do, oh I cut through right there, huh? So what I'm going to do is leave the ore mask on and I'm going to spray the whole thing with a forest screen and then let that sit overnight and uh, and see how it turns out when I when I take off the ore mask. Okay, I'm going to let that sit overnight and we will peel it off tomorrow. Okay, today's the day we peel off our, uh, our ore mask and see if we've made any improvements to how we do it. It looks like it's coming off the red paint pretty good, although it did just peel. Oh no, I was just sawdust. Now if you remember, I painted this, I put two layers of paint on and I let it dry, uh, I probably let it dry overnight, or a couple, it might have been a couple days before I started on this. And it seemed to stick pretty good. So, but the main thing is where the letters are, that's going to be the main thing. And, you know, 
if you've watched any of my previous Oramas videos, you'll know that I've, I've pretty much had failures. But I keep, I keep wanting to improve. And I've had a few people tell me, you really have to let your, your base layer, you have to let it fully cure. And that seems to be, that seems to be the theme. So let's see how this turns out. And I also, when I sprayed this green, I used a, a Rust-Oleum green. I let it dry um, for, I let it dry overnight also. Actually, I let it dry a couple days because I was busy doing some other things. And we'll see how this turns out. I really want to be successful with the aura mask because I'm not a good painter and I think this would help me help me do um, do projects where I can I don't have to do so much detailing with the paint now where I just peeled off that E it looks perfect actually this was just a fun sign I, I, I've been wanting to I don't have a lot of wood right now to do any um, like any really nice uh, projects but I did have some of this MDF and this MDF is kind of nice because you can um, this is the type of thing that's pretty easy to do with MDF well I have to say and I have to thank uh, thank a subscriber for this I had a comment a long time ago on my one of my Ormas videos and he had told me about sealing it and really letting it cure. Um, and most of the time that I failed, I, I was a little too anxious and I would peel off the, the aura mask, you know, too soon. And so far, so far it looks like it's doing really well. I'm using a little pick to get off some of the little stuff. Yeah, the detail, the detail in the letters, it looks really good. It did a good job. So if it all comes out like, like it is right now, I would say this is, this is my first success with the aura mask. Now that was the first spot right there where it peeled off the red paint. It peeled it off right there a little bit too. So maybe, maybe what I need to do is put a sealer on the top. Yeah, it just peeled off that red paint right there too. Maybe I need to put a sealer on the top of the red paint next time. But I'm going to show you the detail on the letters did come out pretty good. Some more red paint peeled off right there. Okay, that's uh, <clears throat> that's all the removal of the or mask. And the detail is, looks really good. The only problem is I had a couple peel outs of the red of the red paint. And um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out on my bandsaw. And I'm going to do a very slight bevel on the edge of this. And then what I'll do is I'll touch up, I'll touch up all this paint and, and then spray some clear on it and it'll be done. But let me give you a detailed look of, of the ore mask. I think for the most part, it was pretty successful, but I think, um, I think there's room for improvement. I think what I should do is I should prep another one of these boards and I'll do a different sign, but I'll, um, I'll let it fully cure. And then after it fully cures, I'll put um, some, some wood sealer on top of it and let that fully cure and then put the OR mask on and try it again and see if we can avoid getting these blowouts. Cause that, it could have been perfect without a couple of these blowouts, but I'll show you. Let me get a close up for you. You can see a blowout right there and there. But the detail on the letters actually looks pretty good. Think twice because I won't. It's, it was just kind of a fun little sign, but I really wanted to try to perfect the aura mask. And it looks like I haven't quite done it yet, but I'll keep working on it.
thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. So success and failure. Um, I, I believe what I've done wrong is the, the material, in this case it's MDF, it needs to be sealed first and with a sealer, primer, and then put your paint on top of that and then put your aura mask on. So I did have success of the aura mask sticking to the red paint. The problem was it's the red paint wasn't stuck to the MDF good enough and I had a few blowouts. So it was successful, but it was also a partial failure. I do like the sign though, it turned out okay. And um, I will keep trying to, um, I will keep trying to get better at the ore mask. I'm not gonna give up quite yet. I, I feel like I'm gonna try to seal the material first and then paint it and then see if I can have more success. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple.